welcome to Women One-on-One. -on -One. Your question? I wanted to know what should I do? I'm in a relationship with a man and he's, he's constantly going back and forth to jail. Some of the things that he's doing is beyond his control and then some of them are just from bad choices and bad decisions that he's making. He, although he is, you know, he's a good provider, he's a good father, some of the things that he's going to jail for is because of his older kid's mother. She comes and causes chaos in our life and the things that she says, she lies to the police just to get him arrested and he's going to jail for it. And she's taking him away from, you know, his kids. I just want So to what's know, your question? I just want to know, like, what should I do? Like, should I still be in this relationship because like it's not a bad relationship but I'm just tired of having to deal with the going to see him at jail part okay I'm, so I'm is this tired. repeated it's exhausting so is he like a repeated jailbird yeah okay are you all sharing the expense of the household yeah okay yeah. so when he goes he, to jail his household expenses eliminate me okay all right and how many children do you have we have two children. How old are they? They are five and three. How long have you been in this relationship? We've been together for seven, seven years, almost eight mm. years. And out of the seven years, how many times, how much time has he spent in jail? I would say three years total. Hmm. And you're committed to this man? Yeah. You're committed. You love him? Yeah, I love him. Is, are you married? No, we're not married. Okay. We Is there a reason for that? Why are y'all living together? We are engaged. How long you been engaged? We've been engaged for the past year and a half, almost two years. But you've been with him seven years. Right. What made up his mind a year and a half ago that he decided he wants to marry you? I don't know. What prompted that? Well, it was just, I guess he figured out, like, I'm the one for him. And okay. we belong together. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you a question. You're not married to him, so you're not no. bound to him. I don't care if there's children involved or not. That's not your husband. So there's no divorce to go through. There's just a making up your mind. I'm tired of this. Do you feel that you want to live in a position and in a situation where you're going to be with a man in jail most of the time of your life? But half the things is out of his control. I okay. understand where she's coming from because he can't control everything. You know, like she said, some of the things that's going on is behind his control. But behind all of that, he's still a good man. He helped me take care of my kids. He helped me with my household. Uh -huh. He's always been there for me. We've been together for all these years. We was high school sweethearts. Right. So I can't just turn my back on him and leave him. But I want to know from an older, wiser person, what should I do? Well, okay. So we have two people here with similar situations. And both of you have jailbird <laughs> companions, you know. Okay. Because I'm sure you're, you're not married to him either, right? No, ma'am. So how long have you been with him? Five years. Okay. So we're looking at some kind of repeated kind of routine going on both of your lives. You're with guys that have not committed to you. Have any of them ever been in other relationships or went outside of the bounds of your relationship sexually with anybody else since you've been with them? No. Well, he has, like, at first when we first got together, it uh -huh. was before I had the first baby. He has. He has cheated. But since then, he hasn't cheated. Okay. And it's like, he hasn't been in trouble and going to jail for like two to three years from the last time that he had got out. But okay. see, there's the but there's no commitment there. A real commitment, you stay with the woman. Uh, he's back and forth to jail. He's already cheated. That shows no commitment. In order to be committed, you stay with that one person. That's a, com a commitment between two people. Okay. That's that's true, but it it's been so long since he cheated. I'm not gonna hold that over his head because that's been so long and in the past that's been almost seven years ago. Okay, well my my, my We're my talking about here. commitment here though. Right. I understand. But okay, we're saying commitment. All right. There is no commitment. There is no marriage. There's no strings attached. It's just you here up one day he might decide after you get out of jail and get myself together. Bye bye. I mean, you got to really think about this. What do you really have with this man that you can say, I'm okay. I'm okay in this situation.